The leaves of woolen tea come in different shapes and colors, so how to tell them apart? In this video, I will explain how to recognize the type of woolen tea by the aspect of the leaves. Hi guys, this is Gabriele from Nano Shan, where we share the pleasure of drinking and discovering genuine farm tea. If you're new here in our channel and you're also looking to expand your tea knowledge and brewing skills, then make sure to click on the subscribe button. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up if at any point of time you enjoy watching. All right, today we want to discover together Oolong tea. And we are not interested in uh, the taste of the tea, like uh, the taste of this one here that I'm drinking, and not also interested in the color of the record. We want to be able to look at the leaves of an Oolong tea and tell which Oolong is all about. And this is something a little bit complex because oolong is a very wide category. So um, you have so many different shapes and different colors of oolong that is really not a little bit challenging. In fact, actually, um, you know, tea culture in general is very complex, right? Even the, the simplest of the topic, for example, which is the difference between green and black tea, um, hides a certain level of complexity and most of the time uh, in a tea topic uh, is also a matter of opinion so it's very difficult you know to be 100% sure. In this video today I would like to uh, simplify a little bit the things maybe um, for the sake of giving you a firm reference that will allow you to uh, recognize uh, the vast majority of the Oolong tea. I will nonetheless uh, point to some specific videos that give you even more insight in some specific topic and also make some examples so that you can really grasp the complexity of the topic. Moreover, today we are going actually to speak about traditional Chinese Oolong tea. Oolong tea was invented in China and for centuries was only produced in uh, uh, China. In recent years, also other countries have um, started producing uh, oolong tea. For example, uh, Vietnam, Thailand, Nepal, and uh, they have taken uh, the um, processing from China, sometimes successfully, sometimes not. So you have even uh, around the world tea that are called oolong, but are actually not, because sometimes uh, producer believe that the difference between oolong and other tea is just in the level of oxidation, which is not the case, but it's not where we want to go. So today we speak about traditional oolong. And uh, oolong comes actually in two main uh, shapes, we can tell, yeah? So you have uh, a shape uh, uh, like this one here, where you have uh, the um, leaves that are uh, very uh, twisted, if you want. So. Um, let me see, for example, uh, this one here, maybe you can see it is very long and twisted over its uh, length. And uh, um, you have also other type of oolong that are actually uh, rolled, uh, like this one here. And you see that uh, here is a little bit different, the shape, I mean completely different actually. You have uh, some very small uh, um, rolled uh, balls, if you want, uh, mini, like this one. And uh, so these are the two main uh, shapes. On top of that, you have also a pressed uh, form. It comes out very, very rarely that uh, oolong tea are pressed into a shape, like a cake, but uh, uh, we will look also into that. Moreover, as you have seen already here and here, the two teas uh, have a fairly different color, right? So um, you have two main colors. One is towards the green and the other one is rather brown. All right, so now we will start looking a little bit into detail in each of uh, these aspects. But before that, let's also mention that what can influence the color is not only the way the tea was produced, but also when it was produced. So an aged oolong tends to become darker over time and can become even as dark as really black. All right, so let's start from twisted, uh, like this one, twisted uh, leaves 
can be uh, dark like this one, but can also be green. So if you find uh, a oolong tea that is twisted and is green, is uh, uh, probably a baozong. Uh, baozong is an oolong tea from uh, Taiwan, and it is a baozong in particular if uh, the color of the leaves is very homogeneous, very uniform. It's usually um, a shade of green that is not too dark and not too bright, uh, maybe a little bit more towards the dark, but what is really crucial, you have a very uniform green color of the leaves. This is not the case for uh, another type of tea that is also twisted and can be green, and it is uh, uh, Feng Huan Dan Song, uh, which is also known as Phoenix Single Bush. The bouquet style of uh, uh, Dan Song, if they are relatively fresh, is also tends toward the green. But there, the green is uh, of different shades, uh, darker, lighter, um, and also sometimes tends a little bit more towards the brown or is mixed also with some brown in it. So you have these two main types of twisted oolong tea, and uh, if you practice a little bit, you can, al you can always be sure to tell them apart. By the way, I mentioned the um, um, floral, the bouquet style uh, dance on. There is also a traditional style I will speak later about. And there is a video, you have a link now on the screen, that describes exactly which is the difference between the two. So if you want to deepen into that, uh, go ahead and watch that video. All right, then we have twisted oolong, like this one, that are also uh, fairly dark and brown. So in that case, you have uh, um, two main options. One is exactly this tea, that is also the one that I'm drinking here, and it is uh, a Ui Yan Cha or Ui Rock Tea. Another option is uh, a Dan Song, but a rather uh, traditional style, or a Dan Song that is already a couple of years uh, uh, old. So uh, both these tea looks very similar in shape. We don't want to deepen today about the difference between the two, but it's definitely possible to tell apart always a dance song from a rock tea. I've done a video on that. You see a link now on the screen. So if you're interested about how to recognize dance song from Ui Rock Tea, you want to look at that video. Now, look at this one. You see that here, is not rolled, is not uh, twisted, and you have a lot of different shades of color in it. You have a, a little bit of brown, you have a little bit of red, and if you look, you have also some green and some white. White from the buds. Um, let me see. Well, they are so small, the buds, that is very hard to show you, but I mean, you have also to trust me a little bit. Um, here, you see there is a tip, that is white, and this is because it is a bud. And uh, um, the, uh, this type of tea is actually an oriental beauty, uh, Dong Fan Mei Ren, and you can recognize it because it's the only oolong that comes with many different shades. As I said, you have a little bit of red, dark red, you have a little bit of brown, a little bit of green, a little bit of white. It's not really twisted, the leaves are relatively small, and it's also not rolled. It is a, a oriental beauty from uh, Taiwan. Now, um, let's look at rolled oolong. Rolled oolong are a little bit harder to tell apart because they are more similar to each other. But we can uh, try, we can try. So first of all, if a rolled oolong is green, like this one here that I show you, these can be, uh, you can at least say what it can be and you can exclude what it cannot be. So it could be uh, a Tiewanin, this is the case of this one, and actually if the green is very bright, very present to your eyes, then it is likely that it is a Tiewanin, because it is one of the few Oolong that is really processed to this uh, very bright green color. Not like this one, which is, I believe, about uh, two years old, but even brighter in color. If it is like this one, it could actually be also a high mountain uh, oolong tea from Taiwan, or could be also some more rare oolong, like for example, Baya Chilan. Now I say, you cannot really uh, narrow the choice, and even the most expert will have really, really hard time to, uh, to narrow the choice farther down. But what about rolled oolong that are brown? If a rolled oolong is brown, then again, you can exclude. It is not a fresh tiwanin. It is not a low oxidation Taiwan oolong. 
it is not a high mountain oolong because high mountain oolong have also a little bit of green in it, but it could be a traditional Tiwanin or a roasted Tiwanin. It could be a traditional Taiwan oolong, like a traditional Donding or a Donding style a tea from the lowlands of Taiwan. It could be um, a Baya Chilan as well, that is a little bit more oxidized and a little bit more roasted. So it can be many different things, but certainly not a fresh Taiwanin, certainly not a high mountain Taiwan oolong. Now, we mentioned also that sometimes uh, oolong comes pressed compressed into a shape. I have asked many people around uh, my tea contacts in China and also tea friends if they are aware of other oolong than the one I'm going to tell you soon that is not that is compressed to shape and no one really could bring an example. So as a matter of fact of course everyone can make a oolong and compress it and I'm sure out there there are examples but if we think about only traditional processing of oolong tea, then actually there is only jumping shuixian, which is done in the south of Fujian, and it comes in very tiny um, cakes, about six to eight grams uh, in uh, weight. And uh, uh, say that, um, I would like to bring you an example a little bit more complex. So take the cultivar, the varietal Jin Modan. Jin Modan is a very modern cultivar. It was developed in 2010. And uh, um, if you, to some Chinese tea expert, uh, you speak about the Jin Modan, they instantly think about uh, Wu Yan Cha, like this one here and the one I'm drinking, because it is a, um, a cultivar from uh, Fujian and uh, uh, it is nowadays relatively uh, common to be used as a yen cha. Actually, it's not co a common yen cha, but since it is a rare cultivar, most of the time it is processed as a rock tea. As a matter of fact, no one prevent any other farmers that are usually doing rolled oolong to process the same type of leaves as a rolled oolong. In fact, uh, we had uh, a gin modan on our website that uh, was uh, rolled and was rolled because it was made by a farmer that produced also Bayachilan in the south of Fujian that is used to the rolling process. And um, I remember, by the way, just to make you another example that also a uh, tea expert can be deceived and can um, guess really wrong. When I brought back this Jin Modan from China, I had a gathering with some tea friends and we all drank this tea. I didn't tell them what it was about and that they drank it for quite a while and everyone around the table was thinking it is a Taiwan oolong and it was not. So you see, it's, uh, they had the opportunity not only to see the leaves, they could even taste the tea and they were all convinced it was a high mountain Taiwan oolong. Anyway, now how to proceed, right? I'll give you a lot of information. So I want to give you um, a little bit of a summary and also some advice on how to proceed to recognize the tea. Let's say you get the tea, like this one here, you look at it and you ask yourself, what is this one? First of all, you ask yourself, is it twisted, is it rolled? Very easy. If it is a twisted, you go, it's quite straightforward. If it is green, it's probably either Baojong or a, a um, Buke style Danzong. If it is not green and is brown, it could be a rock tea or it could be a, 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 a traditional Danzong. And you can tell them apart, uh, I told you about the video before. If it is a rolled one, like this one, is a little bit more complex, but you can see if it is green, very bright green, then it's a very fresh Taiwanese. If it is green, but not that bright, can be many things, but it's certainly not high oxidation, it is certainly not aged, and it's certainly not a traditional processing. So um, those would be a brown rolled oolong. If it is pressed and it comes in more cakes, most probably is uh, a jumping suisian. And if it is extremely dark um, and you see that the color is no more very glossy, it's a little bit uh, um, matte, then uh, you have uh, um, a, probably an aged oolong tea that sometimes, even if, if it was a high oxidation and a high uh, roasting, could be even be black. Last but not least, you have a tea here, Oriental Beauty, that uh, it is not rolled, it is not twist, it shows you very different shades of color. We say a little bit of white, red, brown, green, then it is Oriental Beauty from China. Uh, sorry, from Taiwan. 
I hope that this uh, will help you to recognize uh, the different oolongs and to practice is uh, part of the game, right? When we drink tea, recognizing the tea. If you enjoyed watching this uh, video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and go ahead, subscribe our channel if you haven't done it yet. Stay tuned for more uh, tea video and I will see you at the next one. Bye bye, guys.